Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 469. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College website link, and you can download the workbook 466 to 471. In this trick here, someone had a calculation uh, for horsepower, uh, horsepower of a motor, uh, kilowatts per hour per, per horsepower, percentage of load, and efficiency of motor. However, there was an X part. This part's pretty straightforward. We have some formula. But then he needed to have a varying number of percentages based on an X value. Let's for and, and most people a lot of people would switch to the if, um, but really the VLOOKUP is what you want to use here. Let's go ahead and do our base formula first. It is whatever our horsepower is, in parentheses, whatever our horsepower is, times kilowatts uh, kwh per horsepower. I hope I got that right, kilowatts per hour, uh, times our percentage of load that the motor has. That's in parentheses and all of that divided by efficiency of the motor. So that's our base formula. And whatever this is, this is going to be remain the same, but this x value will determine a different percentage. So instead of doing a big string of ifs, you simply we can put parentheses around this. Right, there it is. That's uh, the answer without our various percentages. Hit F2. And we'll use VLOOKUP to deliver a, percent a percentage to a formula. So times VLOOKUP. Our lookup value will be our lookup value will be this one right here. Comma within this table array right here. And I'm gonna uh, hit a comma. The second value, column one, column two, is the uh, has the column we want to return the value to the formula. So I'll put a two. Close parentheses. We don't need the final argument of range lookup because this is a uh, approximate match, and by default it does approximate. And there you go. So if I change uh, this to 95, then it will take this bigger 0.73. You could also run Formula Evaluator on this, Alt-T-U-F, Alt-T-U-F. And Formula Evaluator is great. You can see that it will evaluate the inside of that formula, right? And it gets some value in there. And then the VLOOKUP will go look up. Now it's um, evaluating that. But it gets that 0.73. If you change this, you can see that the VLOOKUP will then deliver a different percentage based on whatever x is put in here. All right, we'll see you next trick.